Finally, we turn to the vocabulary for Chapter 2 in Section 2.9. The following is your vocabulary list for the second chapter. We begin with eight. Eight is an untranslatable Hebrew particle that can be used, though it does not always need to be used, to mark the direct object of a verb when that direct object is definite. L is the Hebrew preposition to or toward. The exclamation amen, from which you can tell we get the English amen, indicates surely. Harbe is the Hebrew adjective much or many, or as an adverb, very much. The Hebrew conjunction vav indicates a connection. It can be translated most commonly as and, but can be translated as but. And it could be written in either of two forms, as the or as u. The Hebrew adjective zakain is glossed as old, and the Hebrew adjective chai is glossed as living or alive. The Hebrew chazak is glossed as firm or hard or strong or powerful. The Hebrew tov, our paradigm word, is glossed as good. Cain is the adverb glossed as thus or so or then or afterwards. Ko, the adverb thus, so or now or here. Lachain, the Hebrew adverb therefore. Lo, the negative particle indicating no or not. And men, the Hebrew preposition glossed as from. Recognize that because men ends in a noon, when it is placed before another word, the assimilation of noon, which we discussed in section two, will be often relevant. Hebrew male is glossed full or filled or full of. The Hebrew preposition neged, note the stress on the first syllable, is glossed as opposite or in front of or before. Olam, a long time or a duration or eternity. Pen, the conjunction lest or so that not. Tzon, the noun for flocks or herds. This is what we call a collective noun in that it is singular in form but indicates the whole bunch of animals in the flock or herd. And finally, the Hebrew adverb sham meaning there or then.